Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 127. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 120 to 132. Hey, we want to, in this video, count scores less than or equal to 70%. Here are some scores, and we have our 70% here, or 0.7. So we want to count scores that got less than 70% of the max. So let's do our count if equals count if and our range is going to be this so I'm going to click in the top one control shift down arrow and then F4 to lock it but we don't really need to lock it that was just a trick to get us back up to where the formula was comma now criteria greater than or equal to you either need to put greater than or equal to um, as text and then some numbers in a cell or you can build it right in the formula. Here's how it works. Uh, in quotes you put uh, this is less than not greater than I said uh, greater than less than or equal to and that's the construct if it's less than or equal to you got to put those two symbols and that has to be in quote and then you have to join that with well here's the deal we have 70 percent and we have a max so we need to do some multiplying here this cell right here times this cell right here. That'll give us the 70. So we'll check through the scores and compare it to the less than or equal to 70. And if you don't believe it, of course, you can highlight that in the middle of your formula. Hit F9 and see it's 70. Be sure to control Z because you want to link there. Now I'm going to click at the end and close parentheses and then enter and there are 23. Now if you wanted to do it a different way, you could use an array formula, Alt equals. You'd highlight the whole range here, control shift down arrow and F4, and that has to be less than or equal to this times this. And that'll give us a bunch of true falses, and you don't have to with this formula put to use the concatenating or, or quotes or anything. But you do have to put this series of true falses inside of its own parentheses. And you can always check, remember the F9 kit trick F9 that evaluates you can see it's a bunch of trues or falses control Z because I don't want that in the formula and now since it's counting we just need to multiply it by one because the sum won't know what to do with trues and falses but if we multiply them all by one it will give us zeros and one and of course since this is an array formula I have to hold control and shift and then hit enter and then I have this ran this list randomized over here so if you hit the F9 key you can see it uh, it's counting correctly, and I also have conditional formatting to see when you get the either the low or the max. All right, we'll see you next trick.